Yoga for seniors. Yoga has been around for thousands of years. Despite that, many Americans only became familiar with it when the Beatles took it up in the 60s. But in the past few years, it's seen a bit of an upsurge, going from about 20 million practitioners in 2012 to 36 million in 2023. In 2016, there were 10 million men who practiced yoga and almost 14 million people over the age of 55. The stretching, breathing, and meditation practices produced a host of benefits for older in adults, including better sleep, lowering stress, and improving balance. Older practitioners have embraced its ease on older and stiffer bodies and the ability to do it anywhere, even from a chair. Regardless of your age, always consult a physician before taking up any new exercise program. Yoga's roots are in Eastern philosophy, but despite that in the West, it is usually considered a form of physical fitness. It can be an excellent way to keep your body strong and flexible without the joint stress found in many other activities. It's also never too late to start. You can begin yoga at any age. Here are some tips to getting started in yoga. First, find a yoga teacher. Community centers, senior centers, the local Y, even some city parks usually have some offering of yoga. Barring those more common options, there is also YouTube or other online offerings for those who live more rurally or just don't want to socialize while exercising. Yoga Alliance maintains a registry of yoga teachers throughout the U.S. who meet certain standards. Just as with anything else, check to see how long the teacher has been leading classes and whether they have any experience with older students. Be open about any health or physical issues that might be limitations for you. An experienced teacher can make sure you are doing the poses correctly in order to avoid injury and reap the greatest benefit. Next, Find a yoga suitable for you. There are nearly as many types of yoga as there are types of people. Hatha yoga, restorative yoga, and yoga with chair exercises are usually more suitable for older adults because they're slower paced. Avoid anything with the word hot or Bikram in it if you are a beginner. Practice good breathing in order to get the maximum benefit from yoga. Start slow, don't rush to a new position, and avoid getting hurt. While yoga should stretch, you should not get to the point of hurting or straining. Next, get equipped. Comfortable clothing is a must and a yoga mat is a recommendation. Fitted clothing works, works best due to poses that have you bending into different positions. Footwear is not needed as it is most often done barefoot or with non-slip socks. Mats should be long enough to support your whole body when you lie down and sticky enough to not slip while you are holding a pose. And last, take breaks when you need it. Yoga is not a competitive sport. If you need to take time to just breathe, do that. As mentioned before, there are many types of yoga. The most well-known yoga forms for seniors are Hatha, includes all forms of yoga that focus on posture. It features slow paced sitting and standing poses that focus on breathing and stretching. There are no weird poses, complicated movements, or attempts to boost your heart rate. Iyengar. This form of yoga focuses on form and is methodical and precise. If you've seen yoga that involves props like bol bolsters, straps, blocks, or incline boards, you may have been viewing Iyengar. It is a good style for people with arthritis or other chronic conditions. Restorative. Poses are held for a long time and the focus is on releasing tension without stretching. If you are looking to fall asleep while focusing on yoga, this may be the form for you as it is meant for relaxation and contentment. Yin. Like restorative, it is slow and focuses on holding poses for lengthy periods of time. It is about stretching and can help relieve stiffness and build flexibility. Kundalini is the spiritual form of yoga that focus on, focuses on physical posture, breathing, meditation, and chanting. Chair yoga, a soft yoga designed for people unable to get down on a floor mat due to balance issues or disability. 
Yoga has been shown to help people with some medical conditions improve sleep and lessen discomfort from menopause and help people with cancer. Some experts are now recommending it as a first line of treatment for people with lower back pain. Despite yoga's relative age, the research into its benefits is still in the early stages. And for the time being, medical providers are unable to pinpoint what it is about yoga that helps with medical conditions. That doesn't mean there isn't a lot of information out there. Below are some additional sites to go to before you start your yoga journey. Additional information. These are articles. Yoga may help treat back pain. Getting it straight. Improve your posture for better health. Yoga. What you need to know. Video. Scientific results of yoga for health and well being. Yoga and older adults. Source the National Institutes of Health.